Okay, everyone, this is a different video. This is a video where we're not going to take apart a robot. We're going to take apart a RoboBoa. Not just kidding. <laughs> we're going to take apart a shaver that is from my dad that has been at least six plus years with us and it already doesn't cut that well anymore. So I'll see what I can do with it. I've, sharp I've cleaned up many times this part. You know, took it apart, cleaned it up, nothing. So we're gonna go inside this to clean it up. Even though it's not really that much, it's more likely this because of the fact these are just three spinning knobs. Little pieces, not knobs, but yeah, you get the point. I'll take it apart and clean it up anyways to see if that makes a difference. Plus, you know how I am with the taking apart business. Cool thing about these screws is that they are star screws, but they also have a little line, so they can be used as flat, as um, flat. You know, like the um, I think one was Phillips. Yeah, Phillips is the uh, the cross, and I don't know which did, which is the other one, but you know what I mean. This flat, flat screwdriver. <clears throat> um, let's see if I can find. Oh, how about if I use this? <laughs> Perfect. I bought this screwdriver a while ago. It's been like at least three weeks, I think. I think it was before Christmas. And it's a very nice, it's actually a very nice um, screwdriver, believe it or not. And it already has its first melt mark. <laughs> but it's pretty neat because of the fact you can regulate how tall it is if you want it like that. If you want it like that, you just regulate it. And uh, you can also do Philip and flathead which is great, uh, feel it and flat, I mean. So yeah, here we go. I've always wanted to take one of these things apart just to see how it looked like. Of course, it's a little more difficult because it's not a cross. I mean, I don't know why they don't, they don't do it a cr like a cross head like the others, but, you know, that's that's how companies are nowadays. They make them in really strange uh, forms. There we go. So these two screws are going to be for one side, and, oh, man. Jesus. Okay, that piece is off. Jesus Christ, look at that. <laughs> yeah, that's just a mess. A mess. You. Jesus, yeah, this is going to be the thing that's going to have to be cleaned up. Um, let's see if this comes off. Or it has some sort of knob. I think it has a knob. Okay, so now the back. <laughs> okay, now I know why. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Was pure gold. <laughs> so yeah, it's like that and pew. <laughs> okay, fuck it. <laughs> I wonder if it has. I, I doubt it. I doubt it. I wonder if it has a harness for the battery or for the motor. I don't even know. So I've never been into these things before. But it's cool because I'll take a I'll take a chance to take it apart and clean it up completely, so that I can use it like if it was somewhat brand new. I mean that's pretty much the secret of everything. You gotta clean it up to make it look and probably work like if it was new. It's not, there's not really much logic to it, but I'm a little obsessive on that on that uh, field, meaning that whatever I get, I take it apart, clean it up, and it. It, te it, it tends to look better after I do it.
All right. Um, how's it supposed to come off? Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> wow, that's pretty hairy, I'll say. It's pretty fucking hairy. Does this come off? No, it has more screws. Oh, the side panels, okay. Yeah, it's just gonna need a complete cleanup. And of course I think, oh, this comes off. I think it comes off by little tabs that are on the sides. No, uh, like this. I'm using my other, my other hand in a screwdriver, like, never, never thought I would do that. Shit, come on. That's one, that's off. I, I know I'm I'm covering the, the phone, but I'm taking the other tab. Okay, two of the tabs have been removed. Almost there. Only one left. There we go. Wow. That was nothing complicated at all. Oh, look at all those LEDs. Never thought it would have so much LEDs inside if these are LEDs. So these are, yeah. I mean, I know it should have a couple, but... Huh. That's neat. Never knew it had more light to it, I think. I mean... Yeah, these seem to be more lights, actually, than the ones it already has. Does anyone... Does anyone want a hairy dildo? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna actually put it... I'm gonna actually charge it up to see if those lights do light up. And we find out something I did not know before. No, it's only the it's only the regular lights, the ones that are lighting up. Then the other two, but nothing special. Hmm. Well, I'll take this mess out of the table and I'll start with the mechanics. Well then, let's see what do we got on this little interesting piece of mechanics that that usually a shaver has into it there seems to be a some sort of cover on the top that might give you access to the circuit board and the battery I think yeah I'm always I'm always preferring to use a uh, Philip head screwdrivers because the um, these are not good at all. I I mean, they are something you know that you can use, but to be honest, for me, I would rather do it fast, and that's when the thing comes off because you know it's it's a line. It it just slides out with the with the Philip screwdriver. It just stays in place, so it's much easier both putting it. And at the same time, making it turn. I mean, that's why most of the toys use that. It's a very useful thing, especially if you want to do it fast. Because on these, yeah, if you do it fast, you're more likely going to end up with the screwdriver shoved up your ass or something. Oh, man. That's why I got to do it slowly and make sure I do it once. Damn it. 
Great. Um, I'm guessing this might have some sort of way to be opened, I think. Oh, so it even has a little rubbery part there. Okay. Oh. Wow. Well, that's a. I need battery. It says S E U S. One four. Well, what's that? It's a soldered battery. Hmm. And of course, the context. Uh, the context started down here, and the motor. It's up there. Sadly, no harnesses, so that kind of makes me sad. Oh, there's some kind of connector. There is some, some kind of connector type. Oh, neat. Okay, so... Hmm... Well, that's all... It's all brown. I don't know why. Of course, yeah, the thing is not turning on because I have it unplugged. But if I plug it in, it's gonna start working. But yeah, that's that's neat. That's a very neat board. And as of what I'm looking at, it only has the LEDs that. Um, it needs which are one two three and four two for the light up feature on the button and two for the charging So pretty much what they show you from the outside, which is this They don't necessarily have all of these LEDs Nice pretty nice still Now the things how to remove this gearbox because there's got to be a way to remove this one gearbox from the Oh Oh, it just lights out. Oh, whoa. Well, that, that was clever. Whoever made this was one clever son of a bitch. Great. Oh, I gotta make sure. Wait, I gotta make sure this wire and this wire. Alright. Just to make sure the side of the pot. Oh, shit. The side of the red paint mark that it has. It's going to be marked in the board as red. There we go. Ah, this. As you guys can see, there's like a little red mark from this side, so it's going to be marked in the board to make sure that nothing comes out unexpectedly. Okay. So here's the chip for it. I don't think it needs any sort of cleaning. It's, it's practically perfect. This is the port where you charge it from. And uh, here's the entire gearbox mechanism module, which actually the gears are coming off. Oh, is it actually? I can actually dismount it like that? Oh, wow, I can. Wow. Oh, wow, wow, that's... Even for a shaver, that's pretty neat. Look at those micro shafts and that little, this little thing I was dingling on the top to make the um to make this one the uh ah this shit this thing to to move the, because this is pretty much what touches in here and it makes the entire thing dingle well not dingle you know like move oh that's it's a neat thing then i just wonder what what gear does that have and if it's yeah it must be screwed and if it comes off Nope, I don't think it like it should come off. Huh. No, I don't think this comes off at all. And I know it's it's shut in place, but it doesn't seem to be um doesn't seem to be under pressure or anything. Oh yeah, it's a shaft. That's why it's a little okay. Look at that gear. Wow, did it split? <laughs> oh, 
my god, this piece of shit has to split gear, then I'm gonna kill someone. It's, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, wait, 3, a uh, 10 tooth, 10 tooth? Wait a sec. <laughs> wait a sec. That can't be true. If that's a 10 tooth, then holy crap. And yes, I'm looking for a 10 tooth if you're asking. There we go. Wait, a 10 tooth or a 9 tooth? Because. Uh, 3, 6, 7, 8. A 10 tooth. Oh my god, it's the exact same one. <laughs> oh my god, little thing. <laughs> it's a ten tooth gear, and the way the way it's the way it's built, it's actually much nicer, because the gear is a cr it's like some sort of crown. It's not the type of gear that just goes through the outside. Huh. Well, that's nice. That's a nice thing. It actually has a ten tooth gear inside. So if I ever need a ten tooth gear, <laughs> I can just take it out. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, so I guess that's practically it. I mean, other than that, I should take apart these little knobs, which I don't know how. I might actually try to take, take them apart. I mean, it must be some sort of pressure thing because you just gotta, I don't know, pull them or something. But I'll see what happens. And then, of course, gotta clean all the hair, all of the dirt that has been stored in there for the last six to seven years. And um, after that, I guess I'm going to do a video or something if it's fixed. And if it if I don't do a video, it it's going to be fixed anyways. Because it's, I mean, it's just a stupid, it's a really simple Mac. It's just a question of cleaning it up, and that's practically it. I don't see anything going wrong. But yeah, this has been Zodok Beer. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.